The last few games I've played have been God of War 3, Gears of War, and Saints Row 4 uh, Re-Elected, all of which were remasters from past-gen systems onto current-gen consoles. The game that I'm most looking forward to uh, coming up in the next month is the Uncharted Nathan Drake Collection, which is, again, a past console game that they are now putting onto the current console PS4. Uh, so I'm kind of wondering if video game companies are starting to push older games, and there's such a big surge of them lately, that they're basically just selling us nostalgia. So to talk about nostalgia in video games, I'm bringing in the foremost uh, knowledgeable person of nostalgia I know, my brother Brian Gopherbull from the former Super Gallery Brother Super Fun Show. So just to uh, give credit to your nostalgia credentials, uh, two things. What was it that you said to me is the reason you liked Guardians of the Galaxy so much? Oh, man. Like, when I saw, the first time I saw Guardians, uh, I remember I walked out of that theater feeling like uh, I had walked out after seeing Star Wars for the first time when I was a kid. It was just, it was, I don't know, man. It was just like, it made me feel like a kid again. Okay. And, I mean, that's, like you said, nostalgia expert. I don't know about expert, but I definitely live on nostalgia. What was it you said to me, and I asked you this recently, uh, how you were doing on The Witcher 3? I was playing The Witcher before my copy of Rare came in, and the whole time I was sitting there playing Witcher, all I wanted was Rare Replay to come in so I could play Battletoads. And then I finally got Rare Replay in, and I haven't touched Witcher 3 since. We're just basically talking about nostalgia in video games that are, there's such a surge for these re-released games onto new console. And I mean, not all of them are old from when we were kids. Right. But some of them are, you know, a few years, so well, they may not be nostalgic for us, but nostalgic for someone. Some people. I mean, like, yeah. like I was saying earlier, I don't necessarily think to me. You know, two or three years ago was mm. nostalgic. Like for me, nostalgia is your childhood. Yes, it's, it's what you experience when you're a kid. It's 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 finding something that you know, be it a, a re-release or something like Shovel Knight, where you know it feels like a game you would have played as a oh, yeah. child, and you're just reliving those memories. They've done this, you know, throughout the the years. They had like the Namco arcade. Oh yeah, I mean, this isn't and, anything and new. Rare replay to me is more of a a nostalgia collection than like a re-release. Yeah. You know, things like the Master Chief Collection, uh, mm -hmm. Gears of War, God of War, Something of War, This of That, uh, the Saints Row, even though I love yeah. Saints Row. Those are all re-releases. Those are all a way to basically make some more money on a game that actually sold well to begin with. But ultimately they're selling this past game from our past, they're yeah. making it new again, uh, hoping that, you know, people like you and me who did play it in the past right. will buy it again, and which we will. To me, there's certain ones that I will buy. Yeah. Like, like Master Chief Collection, I will buy that. That is that a was, multitude of games for a cheaper price. The Last of Us, I wasn't going to pay for that. Because that was just a re-release of a game. That had been out for like 10 minutes before they released. Right, and it was, what, it was cleaned up to 60 FPS, 1080p I or whatever. I have no idea. And that to me is not worth the $60. Like, okay, if it would have been cheaper, I might have would have bought it. But, yeah. you know, there's a fine line between milking it and releasing it for people that hadn't played it. Definitely getting in people who didn't have a chance to play it is part of it, but they are definitely hoping that they will reach the people who did play it for a newer model. There's, to me, there's a fine line between acceptable and not. Like, especially now with the backwards compatibility coming on the one, it's like, I think we might actually see a decline in the remaster mm -hmm. trend. But that's another part of it, is that there's such a big deal for it to be backwards compatible, where I honestly feel that's something that should have been done at the beginning. No, I agree. But it is a big thing. I'm excited for it. Like, I'm very excited to play Mass Effect on the Xbox One. You know, there are a bunch of games that I'm just really excited to play on the Xbox One, even if they're not even that much shinier. Also excited, uh, we were just talking about this, uh, all of the sequels that are coming out for past games, like Battlefront. I just really feel because I remember remasters aren't a new concept. I mean, as far I mean, as far back as I remember, they did Resident Evil. Back um, then, it was a big deal. It was. Remasters aren't a new thing. They've been, they've been done before. But I just there's such a push for them now because it's cheap and easy. It is, but they know we're gonna buy it because 
We do. For whatever reasons, we have nostalgia for some of these games. You know, it's the same problem. Yeah. It's the same problem with with you know how for a while the DLC was becoming a problem. Oh my god! Uh, the only way this trend will end is if we stop buying it. But we're not us as a whole. You know, the consumers, we're still buying all the remakes, we're still mm -hmm. buying all the DLC, and as long as we keep giving them money, they're going to keep doing what makes money. Yeah. I can't fault them for that. No, absolutely not. And I'm not saying that this push of re-releases and, and, you know, nostalgic games is a bad thing. Well, it's just, it's, I, it, it's become a big deal. I think at a certain point, it becomes a bad thing. Right now, we're still, we're about to enter the third year, we're about to start the third year mm -hmm. of this current console generation. We're still to the point where there are some games that came out that around the end of last uh, generation where some people might not have played it, uh, so why not port it over? Yeah. Uh, but we're also to that point now where we should expect to see more new properties, more actual sequels, and less remasters. Yeah. I can't think of a single new franchise game coming out in the next year that I'm excited for. Scalebound. There's a few, but yeah, everything actually everything I'm looking forward to yeah. is sequels. So our game so our new games not standing up to old games? No, they are. I'm gonna I'm gonna touch on the elephant in the room. Okay. Final Fantasy Seven. The re I don't even know what to call it. It's a it. remake. It's it's, it's some, not even remastered. They're changing they're, remaking. they're changing story elements. They're changing the con. It's uh, a the re combat. It's a reboot. It's it, it actually kind of it's is. It's a reboot. It is, it is. Now things like that, I feel, you know, that's like a double edged sword. It's like, okay, cool, you know, you're gonna give me something new and interesting, mm -hmm. but in order to preserve the memory and the nostalgia of the original, like me, again, I'm not that big a fan of the game. Uh but for me, if you want to just pre it up and like actually have it be like current graphics mm -hmm. and, 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 and you know at ten eighty and then sixty frames and whatnot. If you want to clean it up like that's great. Yeah. Because that's just people get to relive it. You know, because if you go back and you look at the original, it looks it's terrible. It looks like shit. It's terrible. It really like I was excited when I got it on PC and I was like, oh my God, this is cleaner. Like even even the CG that Square is always no, it's very, it's, it's very bad. it's it's not bad. It's dated. dated. It's dated. Something like that, something, and then that to me seems like a very big undertaking. Like, that seems like there's a lot of money involved, mm -hmm. and a lot of people, I think that money and manpower could be put to use somewhere else for something new or, or something better. Why? Why do we need a remake of Final Fantasy Because this is something... Because it's going to make money. Yeah, that's something that everyone, myself included, has been wanting. Not everybody. Mostly... I don't want it. A lot of people myself included, have been wanting for over 10 years. If I want to replay those games, I will play the original, because that's how I played it. That's how I did it. That's what I lived. You know, that, that was, that's the nostalgia. I don't want the new characters, I don't want, you know, the new sprites or whatever they're called, and I don't want the updated graphics, I don't want the added stuff. I want what I played. I want the new, like, I want Advent Children graphics on Final I don't Fantasy want any of it. Well, that's just where, because you want what you play. You want the original experience. Right. I always want the shiny new version. Well, wow. Like, any time like anytime a real release comes out, like when Gears of War, I took my Gears of War copy, took it to GameStop, got my 30 cents trade but in you know for what? it. You know, what though? you know what, though? Gears of War was a very good looking game. Oh, it was. The Gears of War remaster is a very good looking game. It is. However, that's not such a big step as Final Fantasy VII to Adventure. Oh, yeah, no. It's not. It's It's... Yes, it's noticeable, but Gears, the original Gears, Gears always looks still good. holds up. Yeah, it no, still absolutely. looks good. Like, I honestly don't think it's excited. No, that's not true. That's uh, what, I, what I didn't say. If you, could play Red Dead, if you could play Red Dead Redemption on the Xbox One, you would lose your shit. Probably play it for like an hour or two and never touch it again. That's just, there are newer and better things I want to play. I mean, if I'm going back to play an old game, chances are... You're going back to play an old game. I'm going back to play like Nintendo or Atari or, or Battletoads. Like no, we have Battletoads. I'll always... Battletoads. I love Battletoads. Battletoads is a better game than Witcher 3. It's been a long time since I played it, so I, I don't it. remember. You, you I, I played it before. Even, you couldn't even get through the first one. What do you think about this surge of nostalgia games and older games becoming new again, shiny? What do you think? Let us know in the comments. I would kill for an Atari collection, though. I even got the remastered Ted. Ten was so bad. It wasn't Ten perfect. Was so it wasn't bad. ideal, but... Ha 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 ha!
know what I'm talking about. Let us know what you think in the comments. Follow me on all the internets. Like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like to give it a video, give it a thumbs down. Uh, subscribe to my channel so I can geek out some more. Thanks for watching and have fun. One, so Captain America, Thor, Hulk.